What made him do that to my family, my kids? A year later, Sky Sanderson is still trying to make sense of what happened. I always wonder about why my life is the way it is now. What did I, where did we go wrong? Like, like we always knew to stay away from Miles. On September 4th, 2022, Miles Sanderson went on a rampage, killing 11 people and injuring 17 at James Smith Cree Nation and in nearby Weldon, Saskatchewan. One of the first killed, his brother Damien, survived by Sky and their children. They'd come home in the front door and Damien would hide underneath a blanket and give them all starts as they come in one by one. Brothers on very different paths. Damien had struggled with the law, but was working to be a good father and husband. Miles had nearly 60 convictions and was vicious to his ex-partner. I don't know why he was coming back to get mad at me. It didn't, didn't make sense. So, it's something that I'm piecing together right now. Vanessa Burns telling Global's Ashley Stewart she thought Miles might have killed her, but not so many others. That's what kept me. I gave him a chance to be a dad, and then he'd always want to get back with me some, somehow, some way. But I think this last time he, he had a plan. Like, just something was different. Miles stabbed her mother Joyce three times and killed her father Earl. Why didn't I go? And I said, uh, the only reason I know why is because my grandkids were downstairs. I didn't want to leave them. There are plans for a monument to Earl to replace the flowers honoring the veteran. They miss him. I was with him this time last year, and I think just because I know what's going to happen, you know, and I didn't last year. Vanessa says she's relieved because she knows Miles would never leave her alone if he were still alive. But they say they still don't feel safe. Coroners are investigating, and RCMP have clarified the timeline, but admitted any answers may have died with Miles. After so much sudden loss, survivors are slowly trying to move on. I want a home again, and I'm, I'm not going back to that house. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.